So let's do these limits. Same as every other one. The first rule is you plug in the x value first. So if we just did, whoops, if we just did tan of zero, well, what's tan of zero? I mean, you have to know that, but tan of zero is zero. So the answer is just zero because we just plugged it in and we got a number. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to do pi times the cosine of pi. What well, is the cosine of pi? The cosine of pi is halfway around. So it starts at one. No, the cosine, yeah, the cosine starts at one, goes to zero, then to negative one. So cosine is negative one at pi. So this is negative pi. And then C, well, the sine of zero is zero. So remember that squared, that's the same thing as saying this. That's just like a different notation way that people like to write it. So we just plug in zero, sine of zero is zero and zero squared is zero. So this just equals zero. Well, that's all there is to it. Just plug in the value. If you plug in the value and you get a number, then that's generally going to be the answer.